Qual fans, welcome back to the Koala Show. So um, today I am going to be doing another tutorial for juggling. So this is the next step. Um, so if you guys didn't watch the first video, um, which was the video before this video, <laughs> it was me showing just basic um, exercises, so make sure to check that one out before you start this one. Okay, so again we have our two juggling balls. And we left off at this exercise. So make sure you're comfortable with this before you move on to this step I'm about to show you. So you want to keep that finger placement and throw the ball back and forth. Make sure that it's the ball is right in front of your eyes and you don't have to move your head up or down to see where the ball is. Make sure your arms are good width apart. And then make sure you're not throwing the ball too forward or too back. So now we're gonna work on this exercise. So we're just going to start with, I'm going to start explaining when to throw this ball. Because a lot of people, this is what a lot of people do. They go, I, I actually did this when I started juggling. I go like that. <laughs> and it makes it a lot harder. Although it might seem hard to throw it at different times. It's much easier to throw it at different times than throw it at the same time. Because they tend to go everywhere. And it's definitely more hard to catch it. So the first thing you are going to do it, well, I'm just going to explain it first. So, when you throw the ball, you want to throw this ball in your left hand, when, right or right hand, whenever you, when the ball you throw first is starting to fall down. So when this ball is starting to fall down, you throw this one up. So look, if I throw this one, when it's starting to fall, I throw it up. So right when it hits the top and starts falling, I throw it back. So this step, um, it takes a pretty long time to learn. Um, because it's just, the timing is really tricky to get. Um, in the start it took me so long to get that timing, to get that perfect timing to throw the ball right when it's falling. And then to get comfortable. So once you've practiced this for a little while and you're already used to the timing, you can do this perfectly. Um, it still might be a little bit, you know, crooked and you might still drop them, but that's fine. Um, so you just want to keep working on the width that your arms are apart, the height of the ball. I know I always say this, but it's so important. And then making sure that one of the most important things, I like to do it in front of my bed sometimes, like juggle like this, because it forces you not to walk forward. If you have to step forward while you're juggling, that means that you're throwing the ball forward. If I go like this, I'll need to step forward to catch it. So you want to make, that helps you make sure that you're throwing the ball flat and not too forward or back. So this one was a short tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any video suggestions, anything you guys want to see. Um, and I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and happy <laughs> during quarantine. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!